Hey everybody, we are going to discover the edition interface together to help you out at building your slides in Ludus. First of all, when you create a new presentation or access the edition mode of an existing presentation, you arrive here. You can anytime go back to your dashboard by hitting the blue button located at the upper left corner. If you'd like to modify your title, just click and edit the existing title like I'm doing it here. Now we are going to first start to discover the left menu. You can use the pencil, you can add a title or a paragraph, shapes, of course rectangles and circles. By the way, if you need any other shapes, don't hesitate to check out our database in your smart menu. To continue, add easily some arrows and lines, images and videos from your computer, and also code. Yes indeed, you can add easily your code and make some beautiful sites with it. Then you have the smart menu, yes, or unique feature, where you can find all our integrations and stock image databases. You can either browse in it by category with your mouse and also by using your keyboard arrows. As you can see, there is a small block category where you find all your saved elements. You can also search directly a specific integration or smart block with the search bar. You have then again access to the change log, like in the dashboard, providing you all the latest improvements and features. And you can anytime access our help center here. Now you have here the zoom. You can easily zoom in and zoom out with those buttons or use the keyboard shortcuts. By the way, the keyboard shortcuts are always located in the footer and you can find a list of all of them in our help center. You can also double click on the percentage to come back to the initial view. Now let's discover the slide manager by hitting show slides. You can do a lot of things here. You can select a slide, change the position of your slide, add a new slide or even duplicate one with the keyboard shortcut. Select multiple sites to either change them from position or remove them. I do everything with the keyboard shortcuts, it's really really easy. Of course, you can anytime undo or redo your actions with these arrows or by using the universal keyboard shortcuts. Now let's check the right menu. We have here the dimensions of your slides, which you chose during the creation of your presentation. You can anytime change the color of your background with our color manager and choose any of our 11 transition sites to add more wow effect to your presentation. For information, your right menu is different depending on the element you select. Image, shape, video, 3D animation, your right menu is going to be really different. Let's see, for instance, when I select an image. I can access usual properties of its location Then also the crop, the 16 blend modes, and I can tick the box to add a shadow or color overlay, for example. When I select a video, I can access its parameters and even trim it. Don't forget, you can add anytime those elements to your smart block library. Remember, you can find back your elements in your smart block library located in your smart menu. When we go up to the header of your edition mode, you can access the view mode of your presentation by hitting the play button. Then you can go to the next or previous slides with those arrows or even with your keyboard arrows and add a new slide with this last button. In the upper right corner, you have the share and save buttons. Actually, your modifications are automatically saved, so you do not need to hit this save button. Last but not least, the share button gives you access to all the share and export options offered by Lodus. In this link section, you can easily copy the URL link of your presentation and share it with anyone. As you can see, in the pro plan, 
You can even customize your link and add a password to your presentation. Finally, you can also share a presentation on your preferred social media. Next option, you can embed your Ludus presentation on your website by using this iframe. And last export option, if you encounter to have no internet connection or you'd like to save your presentation on your computer, you can either export the presentation in a PDF format, be careful, all your visuals will become static. If you still would like to share presentations with some animations, you can then use the HTML export, which is available in the Pro Plan. That way, you'll get your presentation in a zip file. It ensures display of all images and videos hosted on your computer. Visuals coming from Unsplash, Flickr, Instagram, Icons 8, Icons Code, Non-Project, your Dropbox and Cloud Apps pictures, Loti animations, GIFs and transitions. Voilà, that was the guide tour of the Edition interface. Don't hesitate to check our help center and you can anytime ping me in the app for any question or feedback. Mm -hmm.